Welcome to the five M's of engagement. My name is Chris Wodermuth, and I'm a professor at Drake University, where I coordinate the Master of Science in Leadership Development. Our program is designed for those interested in honing their own leadership competencies and also to develop the competencies of other leaders in the organization. Our students complete a core of leadership courses, and they may choose to specialize in human resource management, human resource development or training and development, or higher education. And then we also have a multidisciplinary option when students are not interested in any of those fields or when they simply want to mix and match classes or even take classes at other uh, places at Drake University. As you can see, the program is flexible and customizable. We developed a thinking of learning adults. So the courses are offered, most of the courses are offered on weekends, Fridays and Saturdays. Um, and you can complete the course at your own pace. You can take one course a semester or two courses a semester. So in today's brief presentation, we will review what employee engagement means. We will review five characteristics of employee engagement and then look at five predictors of employee engagement. Let's start with what employee engagement means. When you think of employee engagement, I invite you to think of one word connection. Someone who is strongly engaged feels strongly connected to the organization and to his or her job. And because people feel so connected to their jobs, they often can't imagine themselves doing anything else. If you keep this word in mind, connection, throughout this brief presentation, you will see how it links to the five characteristics of employee engagement. Let's take a look at them. These characteristics are energy, focus, passion, role expansion, and pride. Let's look at each of them at a time. The top three characteristics, energy, focus, and passion, have to do with your connection to your job. Energy has to do with how tired you get doing your job, and most importantly, how fast you get tired, because let's face it, all of us get tired at some point or another. Focus has to do with whether when you are at the job, you're focused at things related to your job or whether you're uh, thinking about something else. And then finally, passion has to do with your love affair with your job, how enthusiastic you are about what you do. The last two characteristics, role expansion and pride, have to do with your connection to your organization, where role expansion means your willingness to go above and beyond the call of duty, your willingness to literally expand on your job on your own and without anybody requiring you to. And pride has to do with your enthusiasm for the organization itself. How passionate do you feel about the place where you work? So I imagine you would want people like that, right? So now let's take a look at five predictors of employee engagement according to my own research. I'll divide the predictors in three categories, the person, the team, and the leader. As far as the person goes, the predictors are fit, meaningfulness, and growth. Where fit means just that, whether you feel that you fit your job, whether you feel that you fit what you're doing. Meaningfulness has to do with feeling valued and valuable and feeling that your job is basically important, that what you do matters. And finally, growth means feeling that you have something to learn, that you're being challenged. And a lot of times when people say that they're engaged, they report doing something doable but difficult, something that really got them to think and to grow and to become better. What about the team? Well, it may not surprise you to know from your own experience that enjoying the people that you work with matters. So when people are engaged, they often also report having good relationships with their team members, with the people with whom they work, and experiencing a sense of collaboration and trust, feeling trusted by their team members and trusting their team members. Finally, the leader. When I looked at my data, I noticed that much of the variation on engagement could be connected to four leadership behaviors, and they were providing recognition, demonstrating trust, building on strengths, and taking a personal interest. So let's look at each of those. Providing recognition probably enhances people's feelings of value. You feel valued by your supervisor, so that makes you feel more important, like your job matters. Demonstrating trust 
probably enhances people's feelings of safety and also people's growth at the job. Because of course, if you're trusted by your, your manager, you can probably do more, you can probably learn more. Building on strengths probably impacts people's fit to the job because if your supervisor, uh, if your manager understands what it is that you're good at and organizes the work accordingly, then that makes you feel like you belong there a little bit more. And finally, taking a personal interest probably enhances people's feelings of value and meaningfulness and also their safety on the job. Of course, as you can imagine, the leader can also influence uh, people's feelings of camaraderie and connections to their teams because the leader can pay special attention to how connected the, the team feels and how the relationships within the team are. And the, the leader can also influence a culture of camaraderie and collaboration rather than competition in the workplace. So let's review those five predictors again, and I call them all by words starting with the letter M just to make it easier for everybody to memorize them. The first one is match. I match my job. That has to do with fit. I fit what I do. Um, what I do fits my abilities, my experiences, my interests, and even my personality style. Meaningfulness, my job matters, I matter, I'm important, and what I do matters to the growth and the success of my organization. Movement, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm developing. Membership, I enjoy my team members, I feel uh, connected to them, I trust them, they trust me. And finally, mentor, I have an engaging leader, and an engaging leader is going to enhance my feelings of match, meaningfulness, movement, and membership. Uh, together, these characteristics seem to account to about 77-78% of the variation that I saw in engagement. So they had a strong predicting power, predictive power. Uh, keep in mind a couple of things. The first is that uh, match and meaningfulness were by far the most important predictors. The relationship between uh, match, meaningfulness, and people's engagement was stronger than uh, the other factors. And the second is that uh, it's as important to focus on membership, which is I enjoy my team, the team relationships, as it is to, to focus on the leader. Of course, keeping in mind again that the leader has the power to impact all the other components. But when I looked at the relationships between people's feelings of connection to their team, to their peers, and people's feelings of connection to their leader, those things impacted engagement about the same. And so often we focus so much on the leader and we forget about the team relations. And that's it. I hope you found this information useful. If you would like to learn more about the meaningful leader, meaningful leadership, and uh, the importance of engagement in the workplace, uh, please register for the One Credit Hour course that I'm teaching in the fall semester of 2016. It's a course specifically on engagement and leadership. It's on October 28 and 29. And I am having it pre-certified for 10 SHRM and HRCI credits. So if you're interested in that, please get in touch with me, Chris Wildermuth at drake.edu. My phone number is on the screen, 271-4701. Uh, I uh, thank you for watching this, and uh, happy learning.